So I'm pretty excited, man. I got my first uh, Pro Late model run down at Nashville Fairgrounds. I should have took a video before we took it apart. I'll try to splice in some pictures of what it what it was when we picked it up, but I'm gonna take it apart, take the uh, go ahead and take the engine out of it, clean it up real well, replace a lot of stuff, hang a new nose fender and right side door. But looking forward to it, it's my first time owning my own pro car. I'd always rented in the past and it never really worked out. So I can go into the story on this car a little bit, but I just wanted to show kind of what we got going on here. But it's, a, it's an older Pathfinder. I drove this car in 2019 as a rental and it was a great handling car. So I'm real excited to see what we can do with it. But it came complete. I mean, it came off the track a couple weeks ago. So, but um, just want to do do several things to it to get it to get it 100. percent So, but uh, a guy named Phil Hill drove this car, and he passed away in June at a work on a work accident. Um, so this. This car is pretty special to him and his family, and we worked out, you know, we worked out a deal on the, everything they owned, because they just, they really wanted to see the car on the racetrack and not just sitting. So we're going to uh, give it our best shot. You know, I, I disclose everything I spend, like especially on the barn build, But, um, you know, to them, this car meant a lot more than a whole lot more than what any price you could put on it. But, you know, you're looking at, I mean, a minimum, you know, to get a car on the racetrack down there, $50,000. You know, some guys have over a hundred, but we're going to see what we can do on this blue collar budget here actually i'm gonna put a chevrolet nose on it redo new hood just get it get it really right put my seat in there oh, there's shit everywhere but we uh shops in absolute disarray right now but we're gonna uh get everything i've got a 23 foot cabinet system to go across this wall here get everything organized get it looking looking like a, a real, real nice race shop. So, but uh, I wanted to document you know, I this. I watch a lot of Landon Huffman's videos, a lot of Boo Carlisle's videos, we're kicking asphalt, and those are some great vlogs, and it, it really brings a, a good spotlight to short track racing. Um, you know, Short track racing is where it's at right now. I think it will be, and it, it'll keep gaining popularity. I mean, you've got you've got late model drivers that are just as popular as cup drivers. They may not make the money cup drivers do, but um, you know the popularity and notoriety is there. You know NASCAR sucks; it's dead. It, it, they've ruined it. Um, so by watching you know Landon and Huffman and, and Boo with their channels, it was just really cool because, you know, they're documenting history uh, at these places. Uh, these tracks have been around forever. Um, so I just kind of wanted to document and do the same for the fairgrounds. I don't, I don't know how much footage I will get um, or good footage I'll get, but we're going to give it a try and just, you know, just press record, see what happens. But uh, so y'all stay tuned and probably, you know, do several videos of us taking the, taking the car rest of the way apart and, um, you know, take it to the track, to go and test it. Our first race is going to be at September, September, October, and then the 400, All-American 400 weekend. So 
we're looking forward to that. But um, we'll just uh, bring you what we can and kind of go from there. Yeah, I'll do the, that's good, do the other ones. I get the other corner over there, you're good.
All right, so we got a good stopping spot for tonight. Get the engine out of it, right side door. We put a door bar on it. Get this thing, I'm gonna, in the morning, well, I gotta pull the, uh, pull the seat out. I, I can't fit my big ass in there anyways. And pull the uh, ignition box. And then we're going to put it down on fours and load it up and take it to my other shop. Um, use the heated pressure washer degreaser and just really get this thing cleaned up because it is it's kind of it's kind of dirty but it's pretty dirty um so got a little list going here but uh so yeah we'll uh spray this thing off get it wiped down get it back here and start putting it together Greaser. She's coming along. Much better. Much better. finally got the uh, car back from my workshop back to the race shop and uh i'm wore out man it's um thing about racing it, it's it's hard it's a lot of work so but it's fun get to spend a lot of time with my dad and my my daughter um was able to clean the shop up a little bit it still looks like total shit but won't be much i can do until i get um get some cabinets for it but Got this car cleaned up. It, I mean, it literally took us all day to clean this thing up, but um, cleaned up, ready to go. So I guess now it'll just be um, assembly next week. I got a guy going to North Carolina, Mooresville on Thursday. He's gonna pick up all the body panels, um, pick up a pit cart. Let's see, um, some other odds and ends stuff, but and we'll just, uh, we'll be putting this thing back together. I hope to test a couple times before the first race, but um, at least once, hopefully twice, but we'll just kind of see how it goes. And uh, uh, thank y'all for watching. We'll end this one here and uh, come back when this thing's together, when we get it on the pull down, uh, we'll put lasers on it, get on the pull down. I'd like to do a video on that, but I'll, I'll update it along the way. So I think this stuff is cool and I'm sure at least one or two other people would think it's cool. So, but um, yeah, we'll see you next time.